had a dream that I'll become, when you know, when I, I joined Sprints and I fell in love with Sprints, I started now visioning myself to be a world-class printer. But I never knew it was coming that fast. <laughs> but we were putting in the work. We were training so hard for this. We were putting in so many hours of training, so many hours of sleepless nights, and you know, just making sure that you get there. You know, my target was to improve every day in training. We were growing each and every day, but 2021 was the season that now we just sprouted. My name is Ferdinand Omanyala, the fastest man in Africa, the Commonwealth champion, and the African record holder and the African champion. I don't quit rugby. Actually, I still miss rugby. Um, it was it was it was like a trial and error thing for me because I was just thinking about how fast I was in the in the field. So trying it was a trial and error for sprints. You understand how sprints is in Kenya. So it was it was just going there to try and come back to rugby. But then I fell in love with sprinting, and since then it's just been improving and improving every time, every in season, in out season, just trying to improve. The transition was a bit hard because whatever we do in rugby is not the same thing we do in sprints so it took me a bit of a time to adapt and to get the muscle to mature for that it was 14 months and I knew I was coming back because I had not it was not intentional because it was medication so I was I, I was I, I had hope I still had so much hope and I was still you know just a young boy trying to make it out of sprints so I knew I was coming back because the years were still so much ahead I was not believing. I was running a 977. And I remember that race, it was there was a lot of tension and it was at home and there was a lot of fun. And after the finish line I look up and I see 977. I was not believing my eyes because you know it, it takes some people a long time to run such times, but it came in very timely for me and I was so happy. It was an amazing moment for me and my team. It was all about just you know showing people that it can be done and I thank God because they had to use me as a vessel. <laughs> We're having so many people believe they can do sprints because you know one thing that really kills people, it's a human nature, is the, the ceiling that we put in our minds. If you put a mind ceiling that you cannot achieve something, even how hard you're pushing your body, you cannot achieve it. So I want you to do some as we prepare to... But now that ceiling has been broken in Kenya as far as Prince is concerned, so I hope that we'll get more sprinters in future. I pick different attributes from different people, um, like Eliud Kipchoge, the marathoner in Kenya. He's done this for a long time. That's something I admire. Like I want to, I, I want to be consistent. I want to be there every year. This meeting main main objective was to run under 660. So it's just more of, uh, more about just having fun and you know trying to you know get the money. <laughs> yeah. Getting straight out, Cisse got the best start now, looking to get into his running as Jacobs in the second half, and also here comes Omanyala! Omanyala takes the scout of the world indoor champion, 6.54 for Ferdinand Omanyala. Uh, right now is to win the world championships, which I know I'm going to win, and to win the Olympics in 2024. And then also we are targeting the world record, because I believe, I'm, I'm someone who believes so much in things that people don't believe in. So I believe the world record is within reach, and that's, our, that's my target. I hope that I achieve it in the next two or three years. Craziest dream. Um, to retire at 30, <laughs> to retire at 30, at 30 years. I hope that I retire at 30. <laughs> Why not after? Because um, I'm looking at uh, achieving everything that I'm planning to achieve within this period. Within four, three years, I want to achieve everything that I have ever dreamt of. After that, we're done. <laughs>